So we got to watch the film, which which was amazing. And uh, it was interesting because the Diocese of Helena put out a statement about the, the video. And one of the things they said was that viewers should be warned that the film contains objectionable language, violence, and adult content. However, it's our hope that the redemptive story of Father Stu's conversion will invite viewers to faith and strengthen believers. So can you talk to us about your decisions for the, the tone of the movie? Because it's real. Yeah. This is how people talk. Uh, you know, we are trying to bring anybody who has lapsed back, anybody who's never uh, gotten to know uh, or have, you know, really kind of committed to their faith. It, it, this is how people talk. And, and, and Stu is a very real, complicated, colorful guy. And I've seen a lot of faith based movies and I always enjoy them, but I've never really felt uh the kind of calling that I have when seeing or hearing Stu's story. And I just felt like, you know, we wanted something that was real. This movie is about tough mercy, tough grace, um, mm -hmm. and honesty. And Stu is so on authentic and so credible when speaking to real people that he's encountered, which is why he had such a big following, why he impacted so many people mm -hmm. in the short time that he served. And he's continuing to serve and his message is continuing to be echoed now, mm -hmm not only in Helena, but across the world. And so, yeah, we wanted to make something a little bit different, a little bit more real uh, mm -hmm. with the humor, the heart, the edge, and ultimately it's uplifting. So I remember when I sent the movie out to people in the archdiocese and I got resistance and no support. And then I said, mm -hmm. okay, well, hopefully you'll, you'll at least give it a chance when I make the movie and see mm -hmm. it. And I think they were really worried about it. And when I talked to especially Archbishop Thomas, he said, after about 15 minutes of crying, I absolutely understood why you wanted to do this. Mm -hmm. And especially the redemption aspect of the movie and them yeah. saying at the end of that mm -hmm. quote that nobody is beyond redemption, which is the most important thing, uh, especially in today's world where people are having a tendency to give up on people for whatever reason. And that is the worst thing you could have happen because people need to know that they're loved and they're cared for and that people are not giving up on them and that they should have hope and continue to strengthen mm -hmm. their faith. And, and it's never too late to turn your lives around. Amen. And I, I think honestly, like the language and just how real it is, that makes the story as the conversion starts to go. And, and man, it just makes it that much more powerful when you see him become a priest. Absolutely. Yes. And, and his conversion inside and outside, even as yeah. his physicality started to deteriorate, his spirituality yeah. soared. And, you know, he, uh, he was a remarkable man.